Just Make a Plan by Fisher Dickens. Read by Fisher Dickens. This book is dedicated to all of the kids, big and little. Written, illustrated, and published by Fisher Dickens. And I wrote this book in 2010. I'm in a big hurry, you see. My friend is waiting for me. My friend will wait on the swing by the gate near the end of the walk by our tree. Last week, my friend came to my house and brought a cute little fuzzy gray mouse. Now my friend came to get this little toy pet. I've lost it and I feel like a louse. This little mouse is missing in my mess of a room, I am guessing. Stuff is lying around. I can't see the ground and cleaning it up seems depressing. It could be just anywhere, under my bed, by the door, or on a chair. There is no time to delay. Wish I had put it away. Oh, I could pull out my hair. If I find the mouse today, everything will be okay. This problem, you see, I can fix only me, but I have to get going right away. I need a plan to begin to clean up this mess I am in. I'll start with this pile and then make an aisle with the stack right here I'll dive in. I'd rather have a maid who'd stay and clean my room each day, but maids cost a lot and money I haven't got, besides I don't know how much to pay. I'd get a maid if I had cash, cause under beds maids never stash, broken crayons, torn socks, old cookies, smashed blocks, maids throw away all that trash. I've saved two dollars and forty-three cents. I earned that by painting the fence. Mom's birthday is coming, so I can't spend that money, cause I want to buy her some presents. A million dollars would sure help right now. Then I'd get a maid and here's how. I put a sign on a tree, clean my room with me. Ooh, I stepped on a green jack. Oh, ow. Oh, if I had lots of dough, I'd buy a huge house and a yard to mow. It would have seven floors with 33 doors and five staircases, one just for show. In one room, I'd put dolls and cars. In another, my bugs kept in jars. One room I would use for favorite things I could choose, like a telescope for looking at Mars. My bedroom would be one whole floor. On that floor there'd be no door, because we'd need lots of room for skateboards to zoom and bike riding and skipping and more. The curtains our mom will sew. In 400 windows the curtains will go. Mom will stand on a chair to hang each pair. They'll be so pretty, I know. I would buy my sister a TV. And she'd let me in a room to see movies every day and then we would play or she might lock me out with her key. For my brother, I'd buy a huge bed so he'd never fall out on his head. It's a trampoline too. We jump on woohoo till the bottoms of our feet turn bright red. My dad would take us to fish. I know that is what he'd wish. We'd have a huge boat with a pool where we'd float eating waterproof candy from a fish dish. I'd send mom and dad on a cruise. They'd write postcards with all of their news, but they'd really miss me and the others you see. Maybe that's not a good thing to choose. Money and maids I do know won't help this problem to go, for this problem is mine. I can fix it this time. Sometimes you do things alone. Doing things that are hard to do when there's no one to help you but you. I just make up my mind and again I will find even the hardest things I really can do. I'm looking on top of the piles of stuff I have stacked up for miles. Just by looking around, the mouse can't be found, and that surely doesn't make me smile. Maybe I have too much stuff, but when is enough, enough? I guess it would be when over piles you can't see, and when finding things gets pretty tough. Crawling on knees and hands is the first cleanup plan. Next I will clear this tall stack right here, because 8 feet is how high it stands. Looking around while I creep, my favorite shirt's by the ant farm I keep. There's the book that I got from my great-great-aunt Dot, and the pillow I use when I sleep. Well, now everything's where it should be, but the mouse I need I don't see. Oh, wait, I forgot my green wooden box where I keep things special to me. There's my box on the shelf way up high. I'm so excited to see it I could cry. I open it up, and sure enough, the mouse is safely inside. When something seems too hard to try, and it really won't help to cry, if I remember I can, just make a plan and do it one step at a time. With the great clean up all done, down the path with the mouse I run, my friend might still be on the swing in the tree. I'll give back this toy mouse, oh what fun. 
and my friend's not on the swing. Oh, this is a really strange thing. After waiting all day for me to put things away, my friend fell asleep beneath the tree. The end.